Hey everyone, AppChasers.com here, and uh, today we're continuing our video series of how to use the JW Library app. Recently, we received a new update that allows us to do just what you see here on the screen, and that is to highlight text in our publications. So I want to take a couple minutes, this isn't going to be a very long video, uh, just because it's a pretty simple process, but I want to take a couple minutes just to show you how to do it. So let's simulate studying for the meetings. And now that we have our new Our Christian Life and Ministry meetings, let's go ahead and download the workbook so that we can do some highlighting in it. So I'm going to go down here at the lower tab, Publications. Right now I'm in Downloaded, so I'm going to switch over to By Type in the upper left there. I'm going to go to my Meeting Workbooks on the left-hand side menu. And I'm going to choose 2016. And here we go with our January 2016 workbook. I'm just going to tap on that, and you'll see it start to download here. So it's downloading the uh, workbook for January. And then once it's done, we can tap on it again, and that'll open up our workbook. This gives us a nice overview of the uh, kind of the table of contents of this document. Let's go to January 11th through the 17th. We'll just tap on that. And we've got all of our sections laid out here in the uh, left hand side. We've got a two column layout right now. We can always close that by tapping on this little arrow in the upper right hand corner. But let's leave it open because it's going to uh, serve for some uh, reference material that we're going to use here in our study. So as we scroll down here we can see that we've got uh, different articles, different uh, Watchtower articles being referenced here. We've got an insight book that's being referenced as well as uh, of course in our talk number three, what used to be talk number three, we've got our Bible teach book being referenced and uh, we've got an article down here too um, from the, it looks like the Imitate Their Faith book. So what we'd like to do is show you how to do some highlighting just straight in a document here. Let's say right on this um, uh, document itself. So for example, let's say we want to comment on what does this week's Bible reading teach me about Jehovah in the Digging for Spiritual Gems section. So I'm just going to tap and hold on what and then I'm going to drag this bar all the way over to until it completes what I'd like to highlight. Now this new menu comes up here with some different color palettes that we can choose from. Let's tap on that and we can choose our yellow color palette. And now we've got a nice yellow highlighted selection. If we ever want to remove that selection, we can just tap on it again anywhere on the selection, change the color, let's say to pink, or hit the trash icon to remove that selection. So let's look at some of the reference material in the meeting because this is going to present just a little bit of a change in our workflow here of just being able to highlight. So let's go down here to our Bible study. This is the third one in the Apply Yourself to the Field Ministry. Let's tap on the BH book, which is our Bible teach book. And you'll notice here in that right hand pane now, we have the reference material. Now this is probably where you're really going to want to highlight something. So if I go ahead and tap on this, maybe when and then end here at the end of our sentence, you notice that it does not give me the highlighting ability. Well why is that? It's because I haven't downloaded the Bible teach book. And the reason I know that I have not downloaded it in JW Library is the title here on the right hand side column is grayed out. Now let's show you what the difference is. Let's go into our publications tab. I'm just going to tap this again at the bottom. Let's, oh, we're already in books. So let's just scroll down and download our Bible teach book. So we'll wait a minute while this downloads the Bible teach book. While we're at it, we might as well download the uh, Imitate Their Faith book, too, because I saw that that was going to be used in this week's uh, meeting as well. 
So we'll download that one. We're almost done with the Bible teach book. The Imitate Their Faith book will probably speed up once the uh, Bible teach book is done downloading. So we'll just watch for that. And of course, your download speed is going to vary based on the internet speed in the location that you're at. Okay, we're just about done with the Bible teach book here. And once it is finished here for the Bible teach book, I'm going to um, just switch right back. We'll keep the Imitate Their Faith book downloading. And I'm going to go up here to Downloaded up at the top. There we go. And I'm just going to jump right back into our workbook. We'll go back to the week that we were on. Let's go to that Bible study section there. And I'm going to tap on the Bible teach book reference material. And now you'll notice that the uh, link at the top is active. So we've got a blue link here at the top. In order to highlight, we can't do it in this side pane just like we showed you before. But we can tap on this link at the top. And now we can highlight in the Bible teach book itself. We'll make that a blue highlight there. So that when we consider that material, in the uh, the actual meeting, we'll be able to jump right in and see what we've highlighted. So I'm just going to go back and uh, we'll show you that that does stay there. We'll jump back into our Bible teach book again by tapping on that link and there's our highlight that stayed even though we went back into our workbook. So that's how you're going to want to highlight any reference material you have. Okay, let's switch over to our insight book, which is actually, uh, I should have realized this before, but it's our congregation Bible study. That's why we, we've got that referenced here. But uh, let's tap on that. And we must have already completed that download because this is already a blue link in our right-hand side, uh, right at the top of this column. So I'm going to tap that blue link. It's going to show us what we want to study this week. And I can go ahead and highlight whatever I'd like just by using the familiar highlight tool that we now have available in Watchtower Library. So you can uh, highlight whatever you'd like. Maybe you'd like the A and B question to be separated or distinguished by the color of the highlight you use. You can do that. And of course, anytime you want to remove a highlight, you can tap on it and check the uh, trash can or the delete icon. So that's how to use the highlighting feature in the new uh, JW Library app. And you can check out the other three sections uh, previous to this one on how to use the JW Library app. Thanks for watching, and this has been AppChasers.com.